Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster working on our science fiction themed park. Make sure you're dropping a like if you aren't joined, want to see more Planet Coaster in the future. Uh, today we're taking the footage from another live stream, so I decided to do a surprise Saturday live stream uh, over on Twitch. If you guys are not following on Twitch, make sure you do. Links are in the description below. We've been rocking it, man. We've been having a ton of fun. A lot of people watching. I've been, I've really been liking Twitch. Hopefully, I can get partnered soon, uh, so I can start dedicating some more time to Twitch. So right now, it's more just a hobby than an actual job. But I'm liking it. So make sure you follow along. Uh, today, we're working on a new ride, a new building for a new ride. Originally, this was going to be just a housing for a nice flat ride. But we end up making it our coaster housing for a hybrid wooden coaster in this part of the park. And it's so cool. I love the wooden coasters. I can't wait to build some more of them. But over here, we're just trying to decide what we wanted to do here. And we, uh, people in chat had an idea to do another factory. So it's going to be very similar to the factory. Well, just thematically, the factory in the uh, space section. Just because we did a factory over there. It was a robot factory. This one instead is going to be a hover train factory. So last episode, we made that still a little hover train. Just a random idea, but we thought it was pretty cool, so we're going to make a hover train factory right here. Just a nice, like, steampunky looking factory. Removing those sides because I realize, wait, I can just do half of it and then copy and paste it over. Makes my job a lot easier. Uh, today, or over here, I'm deciding, uh, trying to find some nice windows for it. Trying to find something that would fit the kind of the factory theme, so in my mind, this is like a... Well, it's supposed to be in the steampunk area, so steampunk is just a... A science fiction based idea of the industrial revolution so kind of a 19th century building i really like these new roof tiles so they're corrugated steel or corrugated metal or some something corrugated and they're really cool looking i like them so we're gonna definitely use these on here i think i end up doing like three rows and then flattening out the roof something like that but yeah these things are really cool i'm excited to use them in the future we'll probably use them in some other buildings in this uh, section of the park as they kind of fit with the theme pretty well. They would also probably go with the post-apocalyptic theme I could see I could see them being used there for sure. Now. What are we doing here? We're doing something. Uh, I think I was just trying to plan <laughs> And then I found these cool pieces. So again, uh, we're kind of just going through the game Even though I laid out all these pieces that are new to the beta. There's still things that surprise me Just things I haven't seen before like this one It's really cool looking and I was like, oh, it'd be cool if we could have like some power lines or something draping up there uh, we don't have that, but it's steampunk. We don't have electricity. Instead, we have steam powered. So that's the whole idea there. So we're just going to have pipes everywhere. Because everyone knows that's how you make something look steampunk. You just put pipes and gears and cogs everywhere. And <laughs> there you go. That'll that'll work. Well, yeah. So we decided to kind of just bring this over here and wrap it around. Uh, and have it re-enter the building right there. Just doing some little detail work with the pipe. I wish you could change the color of the pipe. So you can't, unfortunately. It's kind of that red color. Uh, so we end up kind of going with that similar kind of tone for this uh, the theme of this area like uh, the coaster track we end up doing like a reddish golden color to kind of fit this as well as the uh, steampunk walker thing that we made earlier just across from it trying to add some little pipes up there looking pretty good here we're deciding like okay what ride could we put in there because originally I thought the tilt a world would be a cool ride to put in there whatever it's called in this game uh, they decided no that probably wouldn't be good uh, it's kind of a waste of space because this is a very large building and it's kind of a waste of space just to have a little flat ride in it. So what we end up doing is doing a whole coaster. And it's, it comes out pretty cool. It's a little slow, but it's really cool. It's a, basically a big wooden coaster with uh, <laughs> with rails or with metal rails so we can do inversions. And we put a lot of inversions. Someone made fun of me. They made, they made fun of me. They made a joke in the chat during the stream. They're like, wow, CTAP finally makes a coaster with a bunch of inversions and it's a wooden coaster. I'm like, yep, that's, that's how it works. No. We'll probably have a bunch of inversions and other coasters in this park. Possibly, maybe. I love those wooden doors too, those are cool. I like them a lot. They came out pretty, pretty neat looking. Uh, the coaster is also going to cause some controversy because I don't make it small and compact. Like a lot of wooden coasters you see are kind of really compact and dense. Uh, this one I have it encircled the entire area of this park, or the section of the park, as the kind of the wall or barrier. I wanted to do that. I mentioned last time that was my idea. I wanted to do that just because the supports of the coaster are so dense. Like there's so much wood and stuff and it just would basically act like a giant wall. Which would be pretty freaking cool. Uh, so hopefully it comes out alright. Had a nice little like fire escape thing to the side here. Had a little bit of trouble with it. Because uh, we realized that it was too steep. And it was ugly. And I think we ended up having to remove it anyway because this is where the coaster comes out. Did we? I don't remember. I remember we were having some trouble with it but I might have moved the coaster. 
I'm like, okay, I couldn't get these to line up. I was like, okay, we'll just reduce that, grab it again, and then make it more steep. There you go. Okay, <laughs> finally figured that out. I love these things because it feels like they take so long in the video. I'm like, oh, this is going to be so boring to watch, but it's like 10 seconds in the sped up versions. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. That's not too boring to watch. No more than usual, at least. Ha, 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 ha. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Adding some supports to the little fire escape catwalk thing. Just some little details like that. Make it, uh, make it cool. Make it less just boring and flat. I like doing that. And then here we're just trying to plan out what we want to get going on. What we want to do. Do hickey. Uh, I don't remember what we're doing now. It was a long time ago. It was like 12 hours ago, man. Can't expect me. Oh, those things. Okay, the qu quans? Quians? I don't know how you pronounce this. I'm going to actually look that up, the pronunciation of these guys. But I couldn't find it in the build menu. It was driving me crazy. Uh, we eventually did find it, though. And I decided, ooh, these would look cool. If we just copy and paste them, put them all along there. Oh, it looks real cool. So that, oh, that helps so much. I love it. And I was just showing before and after. <laughs> that was so cool looking in this metal version. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There you go. So I was just showing the before and after. Like, what a big difference. Little details like that can really make. It just comes out so cool looking. I like it. I'm having so much fun with this part, guys. I hope you are too. My voice feels a little raspy this morning, but it is early in the morning. Because I want to get this video up for you guys on Sunday. So you can kind of see the zoomed out areas. You can kind of see this in relation to the original space base area and how the rest of the park is going to fit. Don't know why I'm using whole pieces there. I could just use the half piece, but whatever. YOLO, as the kids say. Do the kids still say that? Do the young people still say that? I'm so out of touch. I don't know. I don't know what the kids say. With their blue jeans and their and their fast music. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. I want to eat some breakfast or something. But I gotta finish this video with you jerks. No, I'm just kidding. You're not jerks. You're really lovely, fantastic people. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday. I put up another tutorial for Planet Coaster. I imagine it'll get a little bit more traction once the game is actually out. So more people will be looking for a tutorial. But if you are interested in building in the game, I have two tutorials now. I have one on the controls and I have one on uh, basic building mechanics. We built a little western saloon. Just kind of show you guys how to build or give you some of my tips. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't checked that, definitely check it out. Uh, you can just go to my main channel page. It's relatively recent. It's just Planet Coaster tutorial. We also played this game called Steep. It was like a snowboarding game. I played it with my buddy Blitz, aka my arch enemy Blitz. And that was a lot of fun too. I like it. I miss snowboarding. So I've gone a few times in my life. Just over the past couple years, I started going because my girlfriend's always been into it her whole life. So we started going and it's fun. You think you lived in Arizona? Where the heck you snowboarding? Like, well, uh, actually, three hours out of my town, uh, Tucson, there's this, uh, this place called the White Mountains. And this town got Sholo. And they actually have snow there from like. Uh, November to March, things like that. It's really high up in elevation. It's got some awesome snowboarding in a really big mountain. I liked it. It was fun. I got a little better at it. Why are we talking about snowboarding? I don't know. Starting to work on the coaster in this park. I like how even the coaster bay supports are wooden. It's really cool looking. Over here, just trying to fit this. It's really annoying. So once most buildings, when you place, you can hit X and then you can kind of refine its placement uh, but you can't do that with the coaster you have to move it every time and then it doesn't stay where you put it every time it's really freaking annoying so here I want to just drive try drive tires but since uh, this isn't perfectly flat you can't put the drive tire so I'm like okay let's just try and move it around ever so carefully then I was like okay you know what I'm just gonna put it smack dab right in the front of it and that'll solve all of our problems so once time I've been putting the coaster bay like right in the middle of the building, not super necessary. I don't know why I always do that. So this makes more sense because this way the uh, the entering coasters can have a little preview as they come through. I just love that. Oh my god, those wooden supports are so cool. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> we crashed. Who would have thought you didn't put down in a coaster and it just crashes? So there I'm kind of showing what I wanted to do, kind of wrapping around the park. And the wood is kind of going into the uh, the building there, but it's pretty cool from the in that for the inside it kind of looks like scaffolding or something. So we do a really steep lift hill. People are like, huh, his lift hill's steeper than his first drop. I'm like, yeah, well, oh well. A nice little bunny hill there. Get really into those. Thank you guys who keep telling me, stop putting just flat areas. Put some little hills or something if you don't want inversion. It's a really cool idea. Just checking out this, what kind of speed it has there. Seeing so you know, it uh, has a speed for a couple inversions. So we do one inversion there, another inversion there. Just a couple little loop de loops. I like them. Or well, they're kind of like sideways inversions, but they're pretty cool. 
Mm. There we go. Have enough speed to go through both of them. Just killed all of our test dummies. Bust, busted the test dummy. Do a nice little bunny heal there. Uh, we end up removing that just because it kills off too much speed, I think. Well, technically, it really shouldn't kill off speed because the height and drop, or the lift and drop is the same. Uh, but I'm assuming the game has some sort of frictional forces, so you're still going to kill off speed even if it should be perfectly equal. I think I'm just letting the coaster go just because I want to see if it can go all the way. Up and over. Yeah, so everything's a little janky now because I haven't smoothed it out. It'll be better once I smooth it. Yep, so there we go. We lost too much speed there. Could not do that inversion. Unfortunately. Oh, God, there they go. <laughs> uh, so you can build uh, while the coaster's testing constantly. So it's pretty funny to see. Just to constantly fly off the end of the track. That'd be a good race. Complete a coaster before everybody dies. So you have to finish building the coaster uh, before if they fall off the track. That'd be a good challenge or something. Something stupid like that, right? Sadite, sadite. Alright, doing a little corkscrew there. Uh, doing that rather than the bunny hill and then another inversion over head. Well, I guess the corkscrew is technically inversion, but whatever. I know I wanted to kind of right, go right over this path area. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just... God, that's endlessly entertaining. Because uh, again, I want this to kind of act like a wall. I know this isn't a traditional layout for a big wooden coaster like this. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, like, at all. I've mentioned this before about keeping things realistic or how they're supposed to look. I just do what I like to do. Extending the coaster bay a bit. That is something cool you can do now. Uh, so you don't need a blocking station immediately. You can just extend the coaster. Oh, yeah. Though. <laughs> Goddamn water towers. So there was some stupid joke from the stream where people kept telling me to put water towers like every 30 seconds. I had like 350 people watching and half of them were just seeing water tower over and over again. So I decided, okay, we'll just place like 50 water towers just to make them all shut up. <laughs> it was kind of annoying, but whatever. It always happens during my streams. There's these stupid inside jokes that I don't think are funny, but people think are hilarious. So, uh, who knows? Doing a quick ride through the coaster. Oop, doo, doo, doo. It looks so fast now because it has 500% speed. So it's just a nice smooth ride throughout there, and that turn is way too sharp, so we end up kind of tearing that out, making it a little smoother. And it's cool because we have, um, no longer do we have just a friction brakes. I don't know if they were in previous coasters, they probably were, but they're these new brakes, uh, they're called trim brakes, so you can actually have them on curves. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they're brakes that works on curves. They're not as efficient, like they won't make it slow down too much, but it slows it down pretty well, and it makes those turns slow enough so we're not snapping people's necks from whiplash. Man, look at all them water towers. Oh man, they're beautiful. Definitely not gonna remove all those immediately. Ho oh, ho. Just doing some smoothening out. Smooth, smoothing out. Smoothening. It's smoothing. What, what, why am I saying smoothening? I don't know. English is not my first language. My first language was baby speak. <laughs> I guess. No, I'm just kidding. It's my native language. I get some comments, uh, I actually got some on my stream where people are like, are you American or English? I'm like, well, uh, listen to how I'm talking. Like, I think it's pretty easy to tell. Got a lot of vomit and stuff. Yeah, we don't have any trash cans or anything or too many janitors. So I was like, okay, we'll just toss down another janitor there real quick. There you go. And uh, I forgot to film a little bit. So, oopsie daisy. But there we go. Is the inside of the factory. So I just went and copy and pasted the hover train. And I'm going to upload the hover train to the Steam Workshop. I'm going to do stuff randomly as we go up through the game but I think I think the hover train is a really cool thing so definitely gonna chuck that up on the Steam Workshop I uh, just putting some pieces and stuff kind of scattered around here those are <laughs> I wish they weren't moving like it doesn't really make sense because uh, they're not attached to anything but oh well just trying to make it look a little bit more like a factory and it's some crates boxes and stuff all over little pieces of rope so yeah uh, uh, we use the natural wood to kind of cover up the coaster bait there and then we added a nice little wooden queue in there. And then I realized the coaster was broken down for some stinking reason. So I uh, had to hire another handyman or maintenance worker or whatever. Wanted to put some uh, pipes across here. Then I was like, wait, we can do it the outside and copy and paste them. That's right. So it's kind of going over the top. Make it look all nice and cool. Got to have those pipes everywhere. And I'm probably going to add some more like steam effects and stuff coming out. Just because we do have steam everywhere made from the boilers. Uh, we added, we actually messed around with triggers, so you guys didn't know in the game now, there are triggers, so you can trigger events, like, with the scenery and music and lights and stuff, so, uh, when the coaster returns to the bay, we just did a little simple one just to test it, uh, it has, it shoots up like smoke, it goes poof, right as the coaster comes back into the bay, so you'll see that at the ride at the end of the video, 
it's pretty cool. I definitely want to do some stuff with triggers in the future. Like, you can open doors, you can turn on lights, you can activate sounds, you can activate any of the special effects. It's really cool. So I'm excited to try out some of those. Uh, for the last thing here, just wanted to add a little molding to the top here. Just with these uh, nice little stone pieces. So yeah, these are castle pieces technically, but you can use them here, you know. Uh, you don't limit yourselves, guys. Just have fun. And just do whatever you want. Do what makes you happy. <laughs> Play Planet Coaster. Things like that. Oh, and some of you may be excited to know, uh, if you did not win the Planet Coaster giveaway last week, we're gonna have one this week, too! Uh, no, and to celebrate full release, uh, we're gonna be giving away at least one key. Uh, keep an eye for that, I will be doing a video. It's gonna be just like last time, where you have to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and subscribe on YouTube in order to enter. You get three chances to enter, and you also get a bonus chance for retweeting the tweet. But it was a ton of fun last time, it was really good for the challenge, and I- Or really good for the challenge- uh, the cha channel, and I'm <laughs> sure a lot of you Enjoyed it as well, uh, so we're gonna give you guys another opportunity to win some Planet Coaster. But I'll leave you with the, uh, the end of this coaster ride. Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed. Want to see more Planet Coaster in the future? Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite pizza toppings are, or whatever. Haha! <laughs> I'll see you next time, buddy.